Digital technologies and electronic databases may have a profound impact on how we read and understand literature, according to Dr. John Bryant. Bryant, a professor of English at Hofstra University, presented a lecture titled Big Data, Close Reading, Melville and the Humanities as Fluid Texts, Thursday in the John C. Hodges Library. In his lecture, he explained how a new software called TextLab allows scholars to analyze and interpret data gathered from studying what Bryant termed fluid texts. Bryant specifically focused on how he uses TextLab to better understand the works of Herman Melville, an American writer best known for his novel Moby Dick. Bryant defined a fluid text as any written work that exists in multiple versions due to revisions made by authors or editors, as well as adaptations such as film, opera, musicals, and translations. According to Bryant, Moby Dick is an excellent example of a fluid text. Melville published his novel in two versions, Moby Dick in America and The Whale in Britain. The 19th century had no international copyright law. The standard procedure was to secure copyright in both England and America by publishing each work separately, but basically at the same time, in both countries. And as a consequence, meaningful authorial revisions and editorial changes were inevitable. But Melville's text is all the more fluid because of its modern adaptations, making it a remarkable and critically useful cultural with all its versions, Moby Dick is not simply one book. His biggest question was how to get all these versions in one place. Digital technologies are Bryant's solution to this problem. Bryant created the Melville Electronic Library, or MEL, as an online archive for Melville studies. MEL uses TextLab, a text transformation tool, to document manuscript revisions such as crossed out words, added in phrases, or notes in the margins. These small edits to a manuscript can give insight to a text that would be missed by simply reading a published copy. Dr. Hilary Hapens, an English professor at the University of Tennessee, attended the event and appreciated Bryant's position on how authorial intention and revision can shape the way we interpret texts. I think in the printed version, there are a lot of things that are made invisible. And the nice thing about these digital technologies is often you can see the many stages of revision that a text uh, goes through before it's published. I, I think these things can uh, tell us uh, maybe not just about author intentionality, but sort of larger questions about the creative process of composition uh, during the period. Bryant's lecture was part of UT's annual Author Fest, a festival that highlights the contributions of influential writers from around the world. The next event, a staged reading of Moby Dick at the Relix Variety Theater, will be tomorrow at 7 p.m.